Are we live? No. I don't do live videos. Unless it's Instagram. Hello there. It's your boy, Tasty Cake. That was a nod out. That was a nod to my friend Ray of Collecting Classics. He had a serious situation in the hospital. He just came back home. And as he said, it's a slow roll, brother. A slow rollout. So, all the best to him. He'll get back. I know he will. We all believe in him. I have my drumsticks, which I got in yesterday from the mail. Because I didn't want to go to a music store. And then it came appropriately on time. Uh, and so I'm going to start doing customs or custom videos of Masters of the Universe. Because I have so many things here. You know, I have all the ideas and the Dragon Blaster figure ideas. I just sent them off to make uh, makeshift crate. Corey has to work on one of the vintage fakers because when I bought the figure, I said, oh, the legs are a little loose. They're a freaking lot loose. It's the rubber band they used back in the day, and it has to be replaced, so he's done it. I saw him do it before. A little bit of paint on the teeth and hair. And a custom head for the Dragon Blaster made by uh, Mega Customs. Benjamin said he showed a mold, and he said he, just for the vintage, so it works. The vintage Dragon Blaster... Faker with a closed mouth dragon fit perfectly, look nicely. I think I painted more bluish, make make a match like um, um, duplicate. I got this from Benjamin as well. He's he sent me you know the little little dude custom there. I still had him painted. I don't even know what to color paint them. Because everyone, you know, made their own versions. And that's my special one there. So. I'll see. Imagine B, because that's the, one of the first ones that came out. I was like, it's, it's so perfect. I don't want to have it painted and, you know, mismatch or anything. Because, you know, like that. So, in line with my vintage Dragon Blaster Skeletor, which I did put together, just waiting for the chain and lock from Barbarossa. Because the only way to get them is uh, reproductions. The new Dragon Blaster Skeletor, which I have taken apart. No, I didn't. I bought the backpack. I bought the dragon and the chest piece. So, that's in there, box there. It's in the box there. So that'll be attached to a Flying Fist He-Man with the green H on his chest and the gold will be painted green and the dragon be painted green to match the Dragon Walker. That's a picture that Corey and I both saw on Facebook. But this time, it's it's not using the entire armor piece. It has to be using, because it's using the whole piece, but then it had the whole front piece where the chain is supposed to be to attach to the dragon you know this dragon is with he-man he doesn't need a chain so he's just sitting on he-man's back kind of thing you know he's cool like that so it'd be green the flying fist armor but it'll be the dragon blaster he-man then of course anti the vintage vintage dragon blaster faker uh, that version of Dragon Blaster Skeletor with the chain and just had to put the chain attached to the dragon, which is orange from the Masters of the WWE figure, which paint him red and just have the chain attached to the collar. So he walking the dragon, which the dragon came from the Masters of the Universe Classics version, which has cost too much to get. So I'm not going to do that. And the He-Man I got with the complete Dragon Blaster chest piece and back piece. 
turn that into a vintage Dragon Blaster anti Eternia He Man. So, two uh, vintage version creations. One interesting creation. And I'm set with that. Among other things. But today I want to just focus on a couple figures at a time. Well, the whole thing of like Motu Customs. So here's one I took. I learned this from Hebro. He took Man at Arms. And he, he did switch the head. I switched head too. I followed him. The head was from Masterverse. The first Masterverse. Or second Masterverse Skeletor. It was that alternate head, you know, and he looks more like a uh, demo man because he had the chin, you know, chin hair. So using Keldor's cape and chest piece, Skeletor's boots, custom power sword from Mega Customs, got a bit warped, transportation, you know. I have that figure. And the other one was taking anti attorney He-Man putting the armor from the DC build a figure atrocious atricus the big mean red lantern creature with a big we that was on Facebook someone took the head and the shoulder shoulder piece which I wanted to buy the figure because I the figure that came with so which figure came with it so I bought the figure just to get those two pieces and I guess I like the figure too. I just don't remember what the figure is. It's been a, it's been a bit. And modeling clay, which I'm gonna do. You know, can't do scale. Scale will be like whoosh, compared to what it should be. My my story idea, just enough for visual ideas. Uh, seven swords of power. Skeletor and anti eternia He Man end up in a alternate dimension where there are seven power swords. I said, choose one and choose wisely. However, you have to give up your power sword. So, uh, Skeletor gives up his purple power sword and takes the the white one. And with the light, it brings out further Demo Man, who was, you know, the, the spirit that was brought forth to bring uh, Keldor back to life. And so this just further awakens him. So Demo Man has completely taken over. So Demo Skeletor. Or just Demo Man. Who knows. But I also used uh, Skeletor's waist. Took the legs off. And put on that waist. So all nice and matching. And for anti turned He-Man. He gave up his black power sword. And got a red one. Which Mondo gave a red one. But you know. That's for Mondo. And the red one gave him the power of the Red Lantern dude. All pure evil. Because red. And a mixture of other five swords. So I just had to take that air clay putty and eventually make it. Eventually. Should have been two years ago. Two. Two years ago I was going to do it. The other simple custom was um, about the head. On eBay, a uh, Vicor. Vicor's head. You know, proper head because the other mas um, Master P Masterverse He Man had had the helmet, right? And somebody, like, well, you just put the head on it, but I was still He Man with the helmet on. And some had the helmet, like on Etsy, the guy I get it from, he had the helmet just put on the head because. Some had to kept the hair off, the skin bald, or well, they had black hair in a cartoon and a black cape. But the helmets, you know, but this was just the helmet on the head, molded, so it's perfect. I took the 2000X He Man, which I didn't like, and I got both heads. I was able to get, uh, I found one with the uh, natural blonde, and the other one was the cartoon blonde. I got that separately, just to have the heads. So. If I wanted to switch them out, you know, I can do it. But I keep Vicor's head in there. The cape came from um, Ultimate Warrior. One of the Ultimate Warriors from the Masters of WWE. Because it has the bones and the skull necklace. Keep strap. 
and keep pondering. I see the red cape and I want it painted black. Because Vicor needed a black cape to match one in a cartoon. So, yeah, eventually, eventually, eventuality, I have a water, water based, not water based, um, I buy the Crayola water paint from Dollar Tree. So, if I really just want to wash it off, I can do it. Just gotta take time to go paint it back. I did get in yesterday, the day before. Yesterday, the snake infiltrator. I got two. I wanted to bid on both of them. I thought, okay, I got two. Because Benjamin of Makeshape, no, that's Corey, is Makeshape Create. Ray is Collecting Classics. Benjamin is Mega Customs. I'm Tasty Cake. He used this body for making the Lord of the Rings. Lord of, oh, Lord of the Rings, not even going there. Lords of Power, uh, man at arms. He had the armor and he had a little fur lining on the sides, but he's making new ones, so it'd be, you know, similar or just painting it black on us. But uh, custom head to match. So I have the Legends of Power, man at arms. I'm going to go for that. Boot knife, which I got a couple of them because I forget I bought stuff. So he'll go with a boot knife. That I have already. And uh, the Beast Man, Lords of Power with Merman, Lords of Power, that's already been released through Toys, Toy Line, so I got those. That's three. I do have the original Lords of Power Skeletor, which looked funky. Why they did that, but they did. I actually paid for that one. Whew, did I pay for that one? I wanted it. And He Man was just a pale version of himself. It's like, well, I don't want a pale version of He Man. I got the tan he man and I put a boot knife on him and I, I put a vintage style hit on him. And he used the armor from chest armor from Masterverse. So that's my ultimate He Man. With a you know, show it later. I got too much stuff here. So the only difference is you know the He Man was untanned on the figures and Beast Man and Merman was slightly different shades and, but the representation is there. When he when Benjamin releases the pieces for Man at Arms, you know there it is. They use the darker green. Now Hebro also used the darker green because he matched it with his vintage Man at Arms because he had it there. Saying mm, yeah, but I'm not doing what he did because he went through all these modifications. And wow, that's why I learned him about you know the Demo Man Skeletor. But he, the parts that he used in certain th some things and the, the work he did, no, no, I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> so I'll use the body for Lords of Power, Man at Arms. That'll be fine. I was thinking of using this as just the figure because I also have the other one, but I think these parts are interchangeable. They're not permanent pieces. But with the looseness like of the De of um, Demo Man's head, he used O-rings, so I might do that just to keep that going but uh, this, this strap is loose it's bugging me this strap is loose I was like but it's gonna come off anyway this is gonna be used for our man at arms <clears throat> excuse me but and Benjamin also created working on one for another snake man like a feral character from the other dimensions like okay it's like, grab a hold of them snake men. It's like, okay. But again, I might not go there. I might, because I wasn't going to use the um, Eternian Guard figure. Because I was going to probably use it for a younger man at arms. But, you know, swapping pieces. One day, I may have this infiltrator against the Eternian Guard. The other day, I may have. That'd be a, the the Pharaoh, and that one be the original looking man at arms. So, the parts are removable, interchangeable. So I'm, I'm content with it. I was leaving the package for now. So I put them away in the other room in a minute. In a New York minute. 
You're looking at the little book thing. The the infiltrator had uh, pale skin. Man at arms being even paler. But uh, all of a sudden he rips his mask off and he turns all green. It's like, okay, that's some kind of mask, really. Well, that's some kind of big old mask now. Spike, oh, you dinkum poop. The fortress is gone. We're too late. You found me again. <laughs> I wasn't into 2000X He Man, so it became Vicor, or the 2000X Skeletor, which uh, I just didn't use him yet. I wasn't much on the, the head. Uh, yeah, the head sculpt was of that hood thing. Like that. I'll figure out something with it. King Randor, I passed. Man at Arms, I did buy. Say, so, well, it's because it's Man Serpent Claw, Man at Arms, and I do have the Snake Armor, Snake Armor, Skeletor right there, which I like it. But interesting, they had that Wolf Armor, He Man, because I was a two pack. But, yeah. One day I'll display them all. But to fight the Snake Man, it's like, okay, Serpent Claw, Man at Arms, Snake Tila. Um, uh, mecha neck, it was using that one dude, just his head and his neck. And if I want a different head, Benjamin has the heads too, so make unique, um, mecha neck when he turned to a snake. So that's possible too. It's just, uh, the hands were different. I can put the, you know, or the three pack that came out, uh, four pack that came out with the three repainted. Snake Man and uh, that Snake Man Armor He-Man, which I like that one. That one's okay. It's different because we're in a Snake Armor. So Snake Armor Man at Arm, Snake Ar Serpent Claw Man at Arm, Snake Armor He-Man, Snake Armor Skeletor, which I use Jake the Snake's body armor and the head that came with Keldor as my Snake Armor He-Man, uh, Snake Armor Skeletor. I also did it for Faker because I got the extra armor. I bought the... I'll show all this stuff later. I bought the Jake the Snake Roberts and it was missing. A, the leg was broken off. So I went and got another legs off of eBay. So if I wanted to, then okay. Pop it on there. The boiling and pop it on. Otherwise it looked like it looked like uh, Skeletor chopped his leg off. And so was armor. Say, hey, you have bumbling boob? I stole your armor. <laughs> so, you got the ideas. A lot of play time. A lot of play fun. That's kind of cool, too. I don't see him with... You know, he's got the armor here. The gun... Uh, ooh. He got a 3D print from someone. I... Staff a little bit shorter than when they came in, but uh, it kind of makes more sense to use uh, the green one, just because. Don't piss me off, man. I haven't had enough sleep. Don't piss me off. So... Because the head matches the, you know, close. So why they gave a darker green? Who knows? Same reason why Mattel made the comic book man, uh, comic book Manny faces, and it was not the robot face. It was the in between face. It went from good to bad, good to bad, from man to monster. And now it's that in-between face, and they painted it silver to be the robot. I was like, no, if you turn the page, which you should have known these things, because look at the original stuff. The paint scheme was proper to with the original drawing of Manny Faces, which Hebro just drilled, destroyed the figure. Took the comic book version, drilled, glued it, popped the head in there. Took the old one, made a little copy of it, made it white. Because that's the glowing thing. That wasn't the robot, it was the... Transference of back and forth. The robot head would appear in the next page. Like, well, you know, I was like, I get one, and I'm not move. I'm not touching it. You know, 
How am I going to display this stuff? I don't know, but, you know, time comes. So for now, I'm like, well, technically I just, I could put on, it used to be over there. I don't know where it is anymore. I could have it in the bins too. Just turn this into man at arms the way it is, you know, put the proper chest shield on there, remove one of these things here, remove that funky loose one there. Put the head on and have an original man at arms and just sitting there. Okay. That could work. For the time being. Turn the infiltrator into a classic man at arms. No problem with that. That makes sense. So I mm, leave it be. Yeah, for now. Nope. Maybe not. Oh, I bent my cardboard. No, I didn't. It was bent because of tape. Yeah. Okay. And one more. What, uh, someone offered me a low bid, a decent bid, for a dragon, classic Dragon Blaster Skeletor with armor from Hordak. And I had these pieces from Germany, these bootleg claws, which don't fit. They didn't fit the new one, didn't fit Origins properly. So I thought, okay, let's try it with a vintage one I finally have. They don't fit either. So... How he, they got this to work, I have the faintest idea. And it seems that Hordai had a bigger chest. But uh, they fit enough that if I leave it be, they would just sit on his hands. I really wanted them on the Origins ones to be unique. I mean, he even got a bunch of... Um, handful of these from a guy on eBay. It was from another WE, Master WE figure. But they don't fit properly on Skeletor because of the way his arms are. They fit on regular arms. So that means yeah. But I'm having the custom ones made. But these, like, well, yeah, it's falling off. Of so let me try uh, these hands from Roman dude Roman dude they don't fit either because the way the arms are so I don't fit on the regular figure but even the dragon claws on Skeletor the new one don't said you gotta fit them on properly fit them on a certain way because they're not gonna fit right so, okay um why didn't they fit right when you designed it? Why couldn't you design them to fit properly? That's what I want to know. I want to know what you're thinking. I got these pieces, these pieces, bootleg pieces from Germany. I was very picky. As a cool, I got them. And from one German guy. The other, the other made those uh, battle packs, the, the things for the battle saddles, saddle saddle attachments to add to weapons to he didn't he's not on anymore i was grateful i got what i did and always after we're thinking that oh, i'm gonna need some more i need some more so he said send me a couple of extra pieces and send me like two uh guns that fit on saddle so i said oh i could put that from battle cat so what is something more he sent me the other one i told him about it so yeah i would send it to your next order so they're unique I just don't have any more cat designs yet. And I get my goat. This was sitting on here and I can't get it fitting right. They just don't, you know. How can you make bootlegs and how can you make these things in the first place? They want to fit on the. This is the original one. The original body. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Shaking the booty. It's. It's getting too hot in here. Get the light on. So when I get this thing to sit without falling all over the place, put these pieces away, 
please like the please like subscribe share comment I will focus on this custom line of videos when I dig them all up again because this is what I got because I have them you know my ideas show them off and be happy be happy if it sits there oh my god now this one's falling off so thank you for watching and as always remember time waits and turns slowly